Capricorn, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your November 2017 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon, and Capricorn Rising signs. So Capricorn, for this reading, I'm using the Thelema Tarot along with the Oracle of the Unicorns, Oracle Cards. If you are interested in receiving a private reading by me, please check out northeasttarot.com. If you're interested in an extension to this reading over on Vimeo, I do have the November 2017 Love Tarot Forecast posted. I will have that link below. And over on Facebook and Instagram, I do do the dailies. So if you're interested in receiving a daily Oracle Guidance card, um, please check me out over there. I do have the links below. All right, so at the bottom of the deck, I have the moon, and this is what I'm looking at as the overall energy for you guys for the month of November. So with the moon as the overall energy, uh, definitely listen to your intuition. Your intuition could be speaking to you a lot here in the month of November. Uh, also pay attention to your dreams. Some of you could be having some very vivid dreams here in November. Um, but the moon does represent the unknown. So maybe some Capricorns, you could be dealing with a situation. Uh, it could be an emotional situation, um, but you could be dealing with a matter that maybe there's some uncertainty around this or there's a lot of unknowns around this matter. Right at the center, we have the Ten of Pentacles crossed by Temperance. So with the Ten of Pentacles here, this could be a business matter for some of you. This could be a business matter. This could be a matter with a home. Uh, could also be something career related or even family related with the Ten of Pentacles here. Um, but maybe there's just some uncertainty around this. With the Ten of Pentacles, it can represent your business if you're a business owner. Uh, it represents you know, your, your, your security, your stability. Uh, it, it's generally a card that represents financial abundance. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is, is the best Pentacles card that you can get. So this is going to be job related for some of you. Can also be a matter maybe having to do with assets, inheritances, um, property matters. So for some of you, maybe there's something up in the ear or there's some confusion with temperance here. Temperance is all about patience or moderation. And so something could be gradually happening and maybe that's why there's un some uncertainty around this or some confusion. Um, something could be taking its time. For some of you, maybe you're dealing with some divine timing. Um, also, when it comes to maybe spending, definitely um, try to stay as balanced as you can. Um, try not to overspend here. At your foundation, I have the Page of Pentacles, which could have been some sort of financial news or communication or an opportunity that came in previously with the Page of Pentacles here. Uh, if you're a business owner, maybe this was some good news um, in regards to your business. For those of you that are maybe moving house, this could have been uh, maybe an opportunity or an offer on your house. Uh, maybe some of you have to sell a home in order to purchase a new home or something like that. Uh, with the Hierophant in the recent past, you could have signed something. Documents could have been very significant here. Also institutions like banks and things like that could have been significant. For some of you, uh, the company that you work for or even the government might have um, something to do with this, but you might have signed some sort of documents or paperwork in the recent past. I'm definitely getting that some of you are moving house. Now with the Page of Cups crowning you, another page here, so news communication. So some of you could have heard something previously and maybe you're waiting on hearing something else. The Page of Cups here could also be a child. This could be a child that you're thinking about because this could be a family matter that's significant here. Uh, for those of you that are maybe getting into a relationship, you could be getting into a relationship with a water sign person. So Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And so you might be getting into a relationship or... For those of you that are already maybe involved with someone, maybe uh, you're moving in with them or with the Hierophant here in the recent past, this could have been you making a commitment to this person 
Uh, some of you could have taken it to the, the next level, uh, especially because we have the Four of Wands here in the near future. So for those of you that didn't commit to someone here in the recent past, it could be happening here in the near future. So maybe around the second week of November. The Four of Rods or Wands in this deck, uh, it can represent for me more stable uh, traditional relationships. Also, you know, both of these cards here can represent marriage. So if you're a Capricorn that maybe just got married, congratulations. Or if you are getting married, congratulations. But this is, this is a card that represents happiness. Uh, happiness. Uh, celebrations so uh, this is pretty amazing energy so you could be getting together with family friends at this time you could be celebrating something you could be celebrating this opportunity or this news that has come in this is you feeling quite stable quite secure at this time especially with that ten of pentacles here as well And then in the position of your power, I do have the Knight of Swords. So I think that some of you uh, that I'm reading for here, with the moon as the overall energy, I think that some of you have already begun something. It's it's this, this beautiful new beginning. You're, you're definitely manifesting some beautiful things here in your life, Capricorn, but maybe you know, one of them or some things are still up in the air here. With the Knight of Swords in this position, I think that some of you are ready. You know, when it comes to certain things, you're maybe a little bit in a hurry. This is you ready to charge forward. Could even be move house. Uh, could be travel in some way. And then in the position of how those around you are viewing you, we have death. So death will often come up when you are moving house or you are changing jobs. Something could be ending uh, and creating that space for something new to come in or something could be transforming. In your case, you know, definitely transforming for the better. And then in the hopes and fears position, I have the five of pentacles, but this is just a fear. So maybe fearing, you know, dealing with any financial hardships again or feeling as though you're, you, you don't have enough money or you don't make enough money, fearing, you know, financial um, insecurity or instability. Um, with the Five of Pentacles, it's just a fear, though. Fearing a lack of support, um, a lack of love, a lack of something in your life. And then energy that you're leaving the month with and going into December, we actually have the King of Cups. So because we also have the moon and then death here in the spread, again, uh, a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Scorpio could be significant. So this could be a person here at the end of the month that's significant. And then for those of you that this is not a person, this could be your energy because we do have the moon as the overall energy, which can be a little bit more emotional for some of you. Um, but the King of Cups is very, very compassionate, very generous, and he's someone that you know really listens to his intuition or follows his heart when it comes to making decisions. So if this is your energy, that could be exactly what you're doing here at this time. Uh, but overall, you know, you actually have some amazing energies to work with. Uh, there's a lot of abundance around you, a lot of happiness. There could be some celebrations that are going on around the second week here. And overall, it looks like it's going to be a great month for you. Let's do some clarifying. Um, yeah, we'll look at the Knight of Swords energy. This is in the position of your power. So let's clarify the Knight of Swords for Capricorn. Let's look at the Knight of Swords. Capricorn clarifying the Knight of Swords. Right. And 
Um, just out of curiosity, let's take a look at this King of Cups. Just want to clarify the King of Cups for Capricorn. Okay, so clarifying the Knight of Swords, we have the Seven of Rods, the Empress, and then the Star. So the Knight of Swords, like I mentioned, he's someone who wants to charge forward. He's in a hurry. He can be, sometimes for me, he can, he can be a little bit more of an aggressive knight. And then the Seven of Rods is what I call that warrior spirit. This is someone who's not backing down. This is someone who's very, very passionate, courageous. They have a lot of inner strength, a lot of willpower, and they're not going to give up anytime soon. So this could be actually energy that is helping you, that's benefiting you, um, especially with the Empress here. For some of you, this is, you know you manifesting something new here this is you giving birth to something new and i think it's something you're very passionate about maybe some of you have had to fight for this uh, or defend yourself in some way you're you're starting something new maybe you've had to defend yourself this could be you getting a little bit more aggressive when it comes to starting something new in your life and and this could be a new beginning that is going to be incredibly rewarding for you and that could be financially you know we have the ten of pentacles here we have the empress you know so both of these cards represent abundance um, but with the empress it can be abundance you know in many forms um, and then with the star here it could be something that you're wishing for so this is something you're going to be successful with this is something that you are manifesting um, but some of you maybe have had to fight for this or you know really be strong when it comes to this and then looking at this king of cups just out of curiosity um, we have the knight of cups the two of pentacles and then the three of pentacles here so this king of cups could definitely be a character for some of you with the knight of cups here uh, this could be a person that's coming in that's asking you out or proposing uh, to you um, proposing an offer to you now for some for some of you it could be an offer of marriage definitely if you're already involved with someone um, but for those of you that aren't, this could be like a friend or someone that you even work with with the Three of Pentacles that's coming forward and asking you out. Or you could be actually asking someone out. This can always go both ways. So you could even be the one who's asking someone out. And oftentimes with the Knight of Cups, uh, I see him as someone that you already know. And with the Three of Pentacles here, this could be someone that you work with that is asking you out. Uh, the Knight of Cups is very charming. Knights don't tend to stick around for too long. Uh, but because we have the King of Cups here, that's actually really good. So, you know, he could be someone who's older, uh, someone who's emotionally mature. With the two of pentacles here, you know, some of you might be a little hesitant or you're unsure. So maybe you need some time to think about this. With the two of pentacles, you could be going back and forth, you know, weighing your options or weighing the pros and cons when it comes to this person. Do you, you know, do you want to do this? Do you want to maybe go out with this person? For some of you, you're going to think about this. You need some time. You're going to think about this. Um... And then for a very small number of you, very, very small number of you, because we have the moon here as the overall energy and the two of pentacles can represent, you know, someone who's juggling the three of pentacles here could be someone that you work with or a third party. So of course there could be, you know, someone who maybe is married and they're asking you out or maybe you're involved with someone already and there's someone else that's coming in and asking you out. Maybe they didn't know that you were involved with someone. It could be something like that. Uh, but let's pull you an additional guidance card, additional guidance for Capricorn. But overall, as you can see here, Capricorn, you have some great energies to work with. I feel like it's going to be a wonderful month for you. All right, Capricorn, what else does Capricorn need to know? And with the star here, just remember to stay optimistic, to keep the faith. You know, for some of you, 
even though maybe you had to defend yourself or you know be strong when it comes to this um, just keep the faith, stay positive. I feel like this is something you're manifesting. And then what do you know? We have magic. Make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. So with the star here, it can be a wish card and you know, you have the magic card now, which can also be a wish card. So some of you have a wish that's coming through. Maybe at the start of the month, you know, there could be some confusion around this situation or it could feel a little up in the air, but, you know, just have faith. Magic, make a wish, believe in miracles, magic surrounds you. So definitely a good outcome when it comes to this Capricorn. Okay, so I hope that you found this reading helpful. If you are not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. And if you are interested in having a private reading, please check out northeasttower.com. I do wish you a wonderful month. Take care.